Roads are pretty neat to look at sometimes. Why do we need curved roads? They look good, they follow coastlines, they add complexity to cities, and most importantly, we usually need them to avoid terrain or obstacles. This video will go over the basics of making an S-curve, and I'll show you the techniques used to scale your curve up to be used in large interchanges. I'm aware that the popular opinion of these techniques is that it may be an inefficient way to make curved roads, but my goal is not to provide a tutorial on how to make one type of curve. I prefer to focus on the proper engineering techniques so that you will become self-sufficient and hopefully no longer need these videos. Real highway planning is much more complex than just saying, I want a curve right here. Every single section of a highway curve has a radius to some center point. Curved roads that continue in the same direction should always have the same radius and not change. If you decide to tighten the curve halfway through the turn because you didn't plan it properly, the drivers of the vehicles will be forced to keep turning the steering wheel more and more. This design is almost guaranteed to cause accidents. We're that it makes curved roads significantly easier, but if you search Minecraft circles, you can also make them by hand. Obviously, if you're building them by hand, you don't need to make the entire circle as we will see in a minute. I will show you how to make an S-curve, switching from an outside radius of 30 into another turn with a radius of 50. It is important that we understand the basic math behind curves. For a simple 90 degree curve, each section of the road has a different radius. For this example, we will have the interior of the sidewalk, the top of the curb, the bottom of the curb, a section for water runoff, and a center line. Both sides of the roads are identical, so just repeat everything on the other side. If you're using world edits, make it out of wool and just replace the proper blocks after. The first step is to build a template for the two curves. Mark the important point with signs telling you what the radius of each section should be. The next step is to pick a center point for the first circle and mark it by either writing down the coordinates or placing a block in the middle. From here, make your circles using world edits or partial circles by hand. Before we build the second curve, we need to understand a math concept known as the unit circle. Applying this concept will significantly reduce the amount of guessing you have to do. The unit circle is used all the time in math. It is defined by a radius of 1 always. The unit circle is on an xy graph centered at 0, 0. The coordinates are read as x, y. I'll spare you the math, but you use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the following value, 0.707. Here's the math on the screen if you want to pause the video. You don't need this number for 90 or 45 degree curves, but the unit circle helps plan S-curves. An S-curve is made from two separate curves connected at a point. For this example, we will be connecting at the 45 degree point of each circle. If you are looking for a mathematical challenge, you can connect the two sections of any point along the curves. Let's do some math real quick. We want to know where to place the center of the larger circle so that the 45 degree points line up perfectly. I have decided to choose an interior radius of 50 blocks for the second curve. Using the value we found earlier, we can scale up 0.707 by a factor of 50, which is our radius. 50 times 0.707 gives 35.4, but since our Minecraft radius starts around the very middle of the block, we need to add 0.5 and then round. 35.4 plus 0.5 is 35.9, which is very close to 36. Now, if we go 36 blocks out from the 45 degree point marked on the screen, and down another 36 blocks, both numbers including the initial block, we now know where the center of the new circle is. If you're using world edits, make the curves at slightly different heights and use the move command after you're done. From here, we can repeat the same process as before. Notice how the curves line up very closely. It is unlikely that they will line up perfectly since Minecraft is made of blocks. Make minor adjustments until you think it looks good. Next, if you have been using world edits, delete the excess of your circles. The final step is to fill in and replace the blocks as shown here. Congratulations, you've just made an S-curve, and your city is superior to 99% of all other Minecraft cities. Using these techniques, you can scale up your roads to make large interchanges, incorporate height changes, and even have complex multi-lane curves with road dividers. If you found this video useful, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It only takes a second and it really helps me out. I am also always open to video ideas, so leave a comment saying what you want me to make next.